it's Bree here at Vinyasa Wave. I hope you're having an amazing day. Um, so today, I've actually had a lot of requests for a beginner wave, so that's what we're going to do today. Um, so all that means is, it, just, it doesn't mean it's specifically for beginners. Anyone can do it. It's just we're going back to the basics, we're slowing it down, we're focusing on our breath, and we aren't doing any fancy things today. Um, just you and the mat and the basics. So when you are ready, start in child's pose in the middle of your mat. I'll meet you there. Alrighty, so if you're ready, let's go ahead and get started. So child's pose is you're just opening your knees as wide as your mat and walking your hands all the way forward until your forehead meets the mat. If that's too far for you right now, you can place like a pillow underneath you um, or just kind of drop your elbows down. You don't even have to put your forehead on the mat. I'm gonna keep my head up just so I'm not uh, muffling into the microphone, but wherever is comfortable for you, just kind of Gently close your eyes and hang out there just for a second. Let's settle into our mat. Just start to calm your body down. Just melt into that mat. Arrive here in this space, in this time, on this mat, making sure you're fully present in this moment. Gently walk your hands over to the left side of your mat and start to feel a little side body stretch in your right side. And then walk it back to center and then walk all the way over to your right side and you'll feel a side body stretch in your left side. Walk it back to center. Take one round of breath. And then walk your hands all the way back and maybe move your knees in just a little bit. And we're gonna sit here, I'm gonna face so you can see in a kneeling position. If you need to like put some pillows under you, you definitely can. I know it's like right in the beginning of practice. So we're just gonna do a few rounds of breath, maybe tap into our breath, start to notice our breath. Maybe we've never even noticed our breath before. Um, so just gently place your hands on your lap wherever they land and then bring your shoulders up into your elbows and then roll them back and down. And then just gently close your eyes and just start to breathe normally. Feel it go up and down in your body. Once you've felt your breath moving through your body, kind of see what it feels like today. Is it, are you breathing fast? Are we nervous today? Are we stressed? Are we nice and relaxed right now? Good. With yoga, you're moving with your breath. Your inhales and your exhales are moving you. So it's very important to recognize how you're breathing today <laughs> and being able to change it or slow it down, um, really have control over your breath. You can kind of use it off the mat, um, you know, when you're stressed out or I use a lot when, when I'm running um, or like when I'm flying because I hate flying, I'm terrified of it. So I use my breath to kind of calm my nervous system down. So just start to acknowledge it, and then, you know, we can start to do our yogic breath when we're, as we're moving along. That's kind of a challenging sound to make, but basically you're just, like I usually put my tongue to the roof of my mouth and you're making like an ocean sound. Um, but 
for me, I try to make it as audible as I can to kind of drown out my thoughts so that way I can stay fully in this moment because ideally, it, you know, this is your moving meditation. You're meditating right now. So if you have thoughts flooding in, it's very hard to stay present. Um, but that's the whole point of meditating. <laughs> so anyway, off my soapbox. Let's go back to breathing. <laughs> so on your next inhale, let's try to make it a four count. So you'll breathe, or your inhale for four, pause at the top, and then you'll exhale. So when you're ready, inhale, one, two, three, four, pause, and then exhale, four, three, two, one. Beautiful, let's do that one more time. Inhale, one, two, three, four, pause at the top, and then exhale, four, three, two, one. Beautiful, gently open your eyes, and let's, I'm gonna switch back to the front of my mat, but you're just gonna start to do some um, shoulder rolls. So roll your shoulders back and down. So up into the ears, back down the body, and then bring them forward. Let's just start to wake up the body. And then switch directions. Beautiful, good. Walk your hands all the way forward till you make it to a tabletop position. So that's just hands and knees, keeping the, the spine nice and long. So here we go. We're gonna start moving with our breath. So we're just gonna start to rock in circles and warm up those wrists. So on your inhale just and your exhales, be very mindful of them. So inhaling forward, exhaling back. and switch directions. Keep that core tight as you're in this tabletop. Don't let your belly sink. So that means kind of engaging your core and tightening up those, all those muscles in that area. And then find neutral. So come back to the beginning pose. And then exhale, step your left foot to the back of the mat till your toes touch and push into that heel so we get a nice calf stretch. Keeping your spine as long as you can. Imagine someone's pulling from your, if you have a ponytail, imagine someone's pulling your ponytail all the way forward so you have the most straight, straightest spine. I don't even know if straightest is a word, but you get the idea. And then bring it back to tabletop. And then send your right foot behind you till your toes touch and sit back into your heel, keeping your leg nice and engaged and straight. Spine is long. Feel that nice calf stretch. Good. Bring it back to neutral. Send your left foot back out again, but this time hover it. So hold it up for, we're going to do it for five seconds. So five, four, three, two, one, and then we're gonna do five taps. So tap one, two, three, four, five. Hold it, and then release it down to your toes and let's stretch out that calf one more time. Good. Again, we still have a nice tight core. And bring it back in. Step your right foot out and to a hover and hold it for five, four, three, two, one. Good, five taps, five, four, three, two, one. Hold, and then release it down till you hit the toes and send it back for your calf stretch. Good, bring it back into neutral. We're gonna do a few rounds of cat-cow. So cat and cow is a nice little spine stretch. It feels really good. So what you're going to do on your inhale, you're gonna drop your belly, gaze goes to the sky, and that's your cow pose. And then on your exhale, you're rounding your spine to a cat pose. And you're pushing all the way through. You're trying to get into every nook and cranny that you can, and then release. Inhale, look to the sky, drop the belly. Exhale, round. 
Do a few on your own. Practice moving with your breath. So inhale, we drop the belly. Exhale, round. One more. Good. Come back to neutral spine. Beautiful. Sit back onto your knees. So we're, we're, we're not sitting on our heels. We're on our actual knees. But I'm going to face this way so you can see. Place your left hand on your hip. Right arm comes overhead. And on your exhale, reach over to your left side. Inhale brings you straight back up. Exhale to the side. Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale up. One more. Exhale to the side. Inhale up. Beautiful. Switch sides. Right hand comes to your hip. Left arm goes up. And then exhale, reach over. Inhale up. Exhale, reach over. Inhale up. Exhale, reach over. Inhale, reach up. One more. Exhale, reach over. And then up. Good. Shake your arms out. On your inhale, lift both arms overhead. Maybe gaze goes up to the sky. On your exhale, open your arms open to your right side. So we're here in a little twist. Maybe send your gaze over your right shoulder and find your right thumb. Inhale, arms back overhead. And then exhale, open to your left side. We're engaging this whole area. So this is nice and engaged. My butt is nice and engaged. So we're squeezing the glutes. We're protecting this whole area. You want to stay strong because you really should be kind of, you're using those muscles as you twist. So stay safe. And then send your gaze back over your left shoulder. Maybe find your left thumb. Good. Inhale, back up. Exhale, open to your right. And then inhale, back up. Exhale, open to your left. Inhale, arms come back overhead. And then bring that, your palms together. And then on your exhale, bring your hands all the way straight down through heart center. Good. We're going to open our practice with a nice sigh out. So that means we're just going to begin our practice is all that means. So take a deep breath in. On your exhale, make a huge sigh out. Beautiful. I'm going to face the front of my mat, but come back to your tabletop really quick. And then you're going to tuck your toes and send your hips all the way back for a down dog. So here, your heels may not touch all the way down. That is okay. Please don't force them down. It will come with time. Wherever you are, just start to move around. Maybe find some movement in your hips or your legs. If you want to, you can shorten the stance. Maybe it's easier for you um, for your heels to get down. Both hands should be pushing the earth away super strong. Don't collapse into those shoulders. So you shouldn't be hovering like this. You really want to push the floor away. Be strong in those arms. Good. And then find stillness wherever we are. And you're going to send your gaze forward. So that means just look forward and then gently walk to the top of your mat or walk until your hands meet at the top. When you get there on your inhale, lift halfway. So you're going to make a nice straight spine. Don't look forward because then we're arching the spine a little bit. We're just creating space in the body. So halfway lift here. Exhale, hands come back down to the floor. Fold down. Inhale, lift to stand. Arms come overhead. Gaze goes to the top. Hands meet at the top. Good. And then exhale, hands come down through heart center. And then release them down into mountain. We're going to go through one round of sun salutation. Um, 
or sometimes you'll hear people call it their vinyasa. You'll hear yoga teachers say like, okay, you can do your vinyasa now. <laughs> so when you're ready, hands come to heart center. When you're inhale, send your arms overhead, gaze goes to the sky. Exhale, open your arms out to the side as you fold forward all the way down. Good, halfway lift, so find that straight spine. Exhale, plant your hands, step your feet back, find your plank. You can lower down to chaturanga, which is just low plank, or you can drop your knees and come to a hover, or come all, to, all the way to your belly, it's really up to you. And then come up for up dog, or I'm sorry, cobra or up dog, which is here. And then send it back down dog. Good, that's your sun salutation. Again, also referred to as your vinyasa. We'll try that one more time, actually. Send your gaze forward. Walk your feet to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands. Good, inhale, rise to stand. Gaze goes overhead. Hands come through heart center and bring it down to mountain. Good, hands come into heart center one more time. Arms overhead, gaze goes up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, straighten the spine. Exhale, plant the hands, step the feet back, find plank. Lower down, find chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Good job. Send the gaze forward. On your inhale, step or jump to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise to stand, arms come overhead. Hands come through heart center. Good. And then just release your hands down to your hips. So and hold on to your hips. And then step back with your left foot. So my right foot is in front. Arms come overhead. This is your warrior one. Your back foot is at a, an angle to your front foot. So I try to get my heels in line with each other. If that is uncomfortable in your body, you can just face your foot forward. It's, it's really up to you. Um, really the most important thing is keeping your hips square. So I'll face you just so you can see. So from here, a lot of people keep their hips open. What you're gonna do is send this one back and this one comes forward. So we're nice and strong in our warrior one. Good. Keeping your chin up, chest is tall, sink low into that front leg. Take an inhale. On your exhale, you're gonna to open to warrior two, so that means arms come out to the sides, and you're opening your hips now to your left side. So our hips aren't square anymore, they're square kind of to the other side of the wall. <laughs> um, gaze goes over your right palm or your right hand. And you're sinking low into those hips. What you're gonna do is tilt your, if your butt is sticking out like this, you're gonna tuck your hips under a little bit. Not too much, because then we've, we've gone too far. You wanna find that happy medium work, kind of like imagine two walls are on either side of you and you gotta stay nice and straight. Become aware of your breath in these quiet moments. Has it sped up? Have you lost it? Good. Op turn your feet to your left side. So now everything's facing this way. On your inhale, lift your arms up. Exhale, we're folding forward till your hands meet the floor. And then gently walk over to your right foot. Find a little hamstring stretch here. You can either hold on to your ankle. You can bring one arm up, whatever you need. And then gently walk over to your left side. And bring it back to center. Good, push into your hands so your spine's nice and straight. Bring your hands to your hips, and on your inhale, lift slowly all the way up, and then open back into your warrior two. Take one round of breath here, so that's an inhale. Exhale. 
and step it all the way up to the top. Good, hands into heart center. On your inhale, arms overhead, gaze goes up to the top. Exhale, swan dive down to your forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands. You can jump back to your plank, step back, whichever you need. Lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Good. Again, we're modifying to our body. If you need to do knees down in your plank, you definitely can. Take a breath. Send your gaze forward. And on your exhale, jump to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift when you arrive. Exhale, plant the hands. And then inhale, rise to stand. Arms come overhead. Exhale, hands come to heart center. And then release them down to your hips. Good. Step your right foot back. Find your warrior one. So hips are square. We're facing the front of the room. Shoulders are square. Try not to tuck your shoulders up into your ears. You want to stay kind of in a relaxed but strong pose. And then open to your warrior two. So open your arms to the side, hips now facing the right side. And the gaze goes right over the top of your hand. And then remember, if our butts are out, we're tucking our pelvis under just a little bit, but we're not going too far that we're, now we're standing at a funny angle. Find the happy medium. Imagine there's two walls on either side of you. And then face your right side of the room. Send your toes kind of at an angle, so out. So your, your toes are facing out like this. Inhale, arms come overhead. And then on your exhale, we're bending the knees, dropping the butt down for a Buddha squat. And hang out here for just a second. Find how it feels in this pose. And then exhale, straighten it out. Inhale, arms come overhead and drop low. Exhale, or I'm sorry, inhale, rise to stand. Exhale, lower. Inhale, stand. Exhale, lower. Inhale, stand. One more. Lower and stand. Beautiful. Open back up to your warrior two. I forgot to mention the um, warrior two. What happens with your back foot is it... Be I'm sorry, I don't know why I'm looking all the way over that way, is your foot goes at a perpendicular to your front foot. So your front foot is facing this way and your back foot is at a perpendicular, if that makes sense. Good. And take one inhale. Exhale, step it all the way forward and then bring your hands to heart center. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, swan dive down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, jump the feet back, find plank. Lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Tuck your toes, send it back, find down dog. Good. If you need to take a breath here, you can. Re remember, child's pose is always available. So this position here, you can stay here the entire practice if you need, or if your arms are getting tired, or. Whatever it is, you can always come back to child's pose. Good, send the gaze forward when you're ready. Exhale, jump to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands. Good, inhale, arms overhead, rise to stand. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Good. Hands come to your hips. Step your left foot back. Find your warrior one again. Open to warrior two. So my back foot is at a perpendicular to my front foot. On your inhale, you're gonna straighten your front leg, arms come overhead, 
And then exhale back open to your warrior two. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, open. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, open. Beautiful. Switch your hips back to the front of the room. Find your warrior one. Maybe step your foot in just a little bit just so it's comfortable for this next pose. You're gonna straighten your front leg, release your arms down to your hips, fold forward just a little bit here, maybe a slight bend in your front knee, finding pyramid. Only go as far as you can without compromising anything. So if your knee starts to bend or your back starts to hurt, you've probably gone way too far. Again, you can step it forward if you like. Like hips are still facing forward. We're just leaning forward with a straight spine. If you want to place some blocks here, you can. But keep trying to force those hips forward. So don't let the hip open. We're facing it forward. Good, hands back to your hips. If they weren't already, come back to standing and then step it all the way forward. Hands come to heart center. Inhale, as you lift your arms overhead, sit back into chair. So hips are nice and low. Try not to lean so far over your toes. You wanna be able to see your toes. And then chest stays up. We're gonna do kind of what we did in the beginning. So on your exhale, open to a twist to your right side. Inhale, brings you back up. Exhale, open to your left side. Inhale, back up. One more time, open to your right. Inhale, up. Exhale, open. Beautiful, hands come back to heart center. On your exhale, straighten the legs, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands down, jump back, find plank. Lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, down dog. Good, take a breath here. When you're ready, send your gaze forward and on your exhale, jump or walk to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift when you arrive. Exhale, plant the hands, fold forward. Inhale, rise to stand, arms overhead. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Good. Hands come to your hips again. Stepping the right foot back, find your warrior one. You might notice that you're creating some heat in your body. Stay focused on your breath. Don't let your breath kind of go all over the place. Stay focused, stay present on your mat. And then open to word two. Good, on your inhale, straighten your front leg, arms meet at the top, and then exhale back open to word two. Inhale up, exhale open. Inhale up, exhale open, one more. Inhale up, exhale open, good. Send the hips back forward for your warrior two, or I'm sorry, your warrior one. And then take a little step in just so it's a shorter stance and it's not so hard on the hamstrings. But, and then when you're ready, hands come to your hips, making sure both hip bones are facing forward. You could stay right here if this is enough for you. But if you want, you can lean forward to find pyramid. So you, should, you might feel a nice stretch in your hamstring. But remember, if you, if you start bending your knee or your back is starting to arch or we're leading like that, you've probably gone too far. Just go where it's comfortable. Comfortable where you're feeling a stretch, but you're not hurting yourself. You can place some blocks here if you'd like. Hands come to your hips, and then gently lift to stand. Step all the way forward, hands come to heart center. On your inhale, as your arms come up, we're sitting back into chair. Make sure you can see your toes. 
And when you can see them, lift all 10 toes off the mat. Shift weight. You can put your toes back down, shift weight into your right foot, and maybe come to your tippy toes on your left side. And then plant your foot, shift into your left side, come to the tippy toes on your right side. And then come back to your chair. Hands come to heart center. And as you straighten your legs, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, straighten the spine. Exhale, plant the hands, jump the feet, back fine plank. Lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. So booty goes to the sky. Beautiful job. Bring your knees down to the mat, find your tabletop, and then you can just sit all the way back to your bottom. You did it. We're gonna do some abs or some core. We're gonna find our boat pose. So you're gonna balance on your little butt cheeks until your feet come off the ground. You can place your hands underneath your knees. You can keep them out in front of you. You can straighten your legs, whatever, whatever you got today. But we're here for five, four, three, two, one. Hold it there. And we're gonna just tap our toes. Again, wherever you are, you can have your hands here or in front of you or above you, it's whatever you want. But we're gonna tap for 10 times. So tap right, bring it up. Tap your left, bring it up. Tap, up, tap, up. And keep going until you make it to 10. release. Good. Hang here for just a breath. And then rock right back into your boat. Good. Staying here, you can either keep your arms in front of you or keeping them like on, on your thighs. But we're going to exhale lower down to our low boat. Inhale to high boat. Exhale lower. Inhale high. Exhale lower. Inhale, high boat. Exhale, lower. Inhale, high. Exhale, lower. Inhale, high. One more, lower. Inhale, high boat. Hold it here for five, four, three, two, one. Good job, shake it out. Or you can stretch out your belly. And when you're done stretching out your belly, Find your straddle, so just open your feet as wide as you can. And then when you're ready, arms come overhead, and then exhale, go over to your right side. Good. So here you want to start to slow your breath down. So maybe go back to those four count inhales and exhales. And then inhale, come back overhead. Exhale to your left side. And then inhale up. Exhale, walk your hands all the way forward. As far as you can go, once your knees start bending or your back starts rounding like this, you've gone a little too far. So just bring it back until you can keep it nice and straight. Keep our knees down. You don't want to push it too far. Good, and bring it back. Find your butterfly, so your heels, or the, I don't even know what you call these. <laughs> the bottoms of your feet, the soles of your feet, there you go. Bring the soles of your feet together, finding your butterfly. And then I just try to hold my toes so that way I can straighten my spine. And then exhale, fold forward as far as you can, again, without compromising anything, keeping your chin away from your chest. Maybe putting your elbows on your legs so they stay down.
Good, bring it back. Send your feet out in front of you. Shake them out. And now we're gonna make it to Shavasana, which is just your final resting pose, which means you just kinda lay down, let your feet fall open, palms face the sky, and you're just gonna hang out here, melt into your mat, closing your eyes. And just kinda a gift to yourself after a moving meditation. Kind of reflect on anything that came up during your meditation, any feelings. Heck, you could just lay here for a few minutes because how often do you get to lay here throughout your day? And kind of check in with yourself. Start to relax your face muscles, relax your arms, your legs, just let it all go. Start to bring awareness back into your body. So maybe wiggling some toes and some fingers. When you're ready, just roll over to one side and take a pause there before you sit all the way up into a seated position, cross-legged seated position. And then once you make it to your seat, place your hands on your knees, but palms facing the sky. So you're kind of like in a receiving position and then just gently close your eyes, sitting nice and tall. Do one last check-in with yourself. And then we're gonna close the practice with one side out. So you're gonna bring your hands to your, together, but bring them to your third eye, so that's your space in between your eyebrows. So my hands go right there. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, side out. Good. Thank you so much for waving with me today. I hope you had fun on this little beginner wave. Um, if you're new to yoga, I hope you had fun and I hope to see you again. Um, but I hope all of you have a beautiful rest of your day, week, evening, wherever you are. I'll see you again soon. Bye.